Obviously, there was no finding of collusion on the part of the president, and yet Democrats are still very uh, fervently talking about impeaching President Trump. Take a listen to some sound, and I want to get your reaction. The fact of the matter is, I think that when you look at this report, you can see that there's enough information to move forward with impeachment on this president. What is the best thing for the country? It may be that we undertake an impeachment nonetheless. If proven, some of this would be impeachable, yes. All right. Obstruction of justice, if proven, would be impeachable. If we did not win, possibly, uh, if there were not impeachment, what is going to happen is that the president is going to be emboldened. So, Sarah, obviously, some arguing that the purpose of part two of the Mueller report all along was to incentivize impeachment and to kind of give Democrats in Congress a little nod to say, here, here's the takeoff. What do you think? Uh, look, Democrats got beat in 2016, and they got beat because they had a bad candidate, and we had a great candidate. Our candidate had a better message, a better vision, and outworked his opponent. And they've been losing every day since, and they're constantly looking for excuses. They still haven't found a message, and so their only option is to attack this president. Unfortunately, under Donald Trump, our country's doing amazing. The economy is booming. ISIS is on the run. We are becoming an energy dominant and energy independent country again. Uh, we could not be doing better under this president in just two short years. And I think that the country is going to benefit a great deal more by having President Trump for another six years. And I think it's sad what Democrats are doing. They have the option. They could be working with the president to solve some of the big problems. So far, the president's done it on his own, but he'd be happy to work with Democrats and see that impact double. There are some places I think that we could get there, whether it's on lowering prescription drug prices or uh, working to help veterans continuing to grow the economy. There are a number of places I think that Democrats should want to work with the president, and hopefully they'll start to see that what they're doing and continuing to attack the president is not a winning message. They should know that by now because they just keep losing and President Trump keeps winning. Uh, hopefully they'll see that and change their ways and start to work with us instead of against us. Well, it's frankly, not frankly, the country deserves better. The country deserves better than what the Democrats are offering. They've become not just an embarrassment to their party, but an embarrassment for public service because they are not providing the service to which they were elected to actually fulfill. And hopefully that changes, but I, I don't see a lot of progress in, in their message at this point at all. It does sound as if, Sarah, they're going to have a conference call today to figure out where they go from here, uh, whether they continue to call for impeachment or investigation or whatever. Uh, but we want to we want to play a soundbite for you from CNN on Steve. Steve, uh, they have to get a conference call together to get to figure out where they're going from here. They shouldn't be in office in the first place. They should have known what they were coming to do when they got to Washington. And so far, again, all they do is attack the president. And uh, I think it's quite sad that they've got to have a conference call with uh, all of their members to figure out what they're going to do with themselves now that the Mueller report is out and proven that there was no collusion and no obstruction. That message plan didn't work. So now it's like, what do we do? Right. I, it's simply sad. Good point. Okay, Sarah, on Friday, uh, April Ryan from CNN actually kind of mentioned you. We're going to play that soundbite and of. get get your reaction. <laughs> The American people can't trust her. They can't trust what's said from the president's mouthpiece spokesperson from the people's house. Therefore, she should be let go. She should be fired. When there is a lack of credibility there, you have to start and start lopping the heads off. So she was talking about how you had lied to the press and then later it's time to, you know, start firing people. We had your dad on about an hour ago. He was steamed. Curious about your reaction. Look, I've had reporters say a lot of things about me. Uh, they've said I should be choked. They said I should deserve a lifetime of harassment, but certainly never had somebody say that I should be decapitated. This uh, takes us to a new low, even for the liberal media. I, I think it just once again proves why this journalist isn't taken seriously. And uh, look, I spent yesterday, Easter Sunday, and uh, the weekend with my family and thinking about the things that we're grateful for. And one of the things that I'm most grateful for 
is uh, all that the president has accomplished under these last two years. I think that he has a great six years ahead of him, and I think our team needs to remain focused on how we keep pushing those things that actually help Americans and not engage in these uh, petty fights with journalists simply that, uh, again, shouldn't be taken seriously, I don't think are taken seriously, and are just looking for a couple more minutes on TV. And uh, frankly, I feel sorry for them because they have lost the collusion battle, and uh, now they're looking for anything they can hang on to keep this story alive. And, and frankly, I think it's time to move on. I think the country's ready to. They have been for uh, the last two and a half years, and they're ready to focus on on what impacts them, what matters to them, and the things that the president's been doing is exactly that. And we're going to continue fighting for Americans uh, and including uh, the patriots that Elizabeth Warren and those like her question because they support this president, they support our military, they support our veterans, they support a booming economy and all of the great things that the president's doing. So we're going to keep fighting uh, and ignore all the extra noise uh, from, from journalists trying to get a couple minutes of TV time. Well, good luck enjoying the noise behind you. <laughs> Ignoring it. This Enjoy is, it. This is, a, this is a happy noise. We'll take this any day of the week. Uh, the United States military bands are truly incredible and amazing. We're so thankful that they're willing to come out uh, every year for the Easter egg roll, which is an amazing event. The president and uh, the first lady are going to welcome about 30,000 visitors to the White House today. And the first lady and her team have done an amazing job putting together a perfect and beautiful event. And uh, it may be a little chilly, but it's still going to be a great day, and we're excited to welcome everybody here and, and be part of the time-honored tradition of the Easter egg roll. Indeed it is. Looks like a great time, Sarah. Send Thank everyone you, Sarah. our best and, and have some fun. Go enjoy. <laughs> That's right. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks.